So what did you miss at Jubilee today? Well, <laughs> you you missed a baptism of two delightful one-year-old twins. Xavier and Alexander, um, wow, <laughs> they were fantastic. Uh, and their sisters and brother were spectacular and their parents and their family and friends. And it was just, it was a joyous moment where the whole community celebrates. We have that moment where we truly sense, feel, believe, know that we hear God's voice saying, I love you. We live out that invitation to be community together, to discover God's will, to share God's love. And we do it with water and we do it with the Holy Spirit. And it was a great day. And that's all we needed today. However, it was also Trinity Sunday. And it was also a day when, when some of our regulars weren't available. Our, our, our music director had to be away uh, at the last minute. Our, our choir mistress, the, 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 often the heart and soul of our choir, she had to be away. We were, we were diminished in number and some of our regular role players, but we were not we were not diminished in spirit or in enthusiasm. And people stepped forward and suddenly we had... We had Judy playing the piano to lead the hymns, and we had Janica singing and taking preludes and solos, and, and, and we had Sharon making sure it all came together and other people volunteering, and it was, it was church. Not like TV, like real, and it was beautiful. And as I mentioned, it, it was Trinity Sunday, so we, we felt it was time to talk about the Trinity. And so we did. We did it, and we acknowledge that every time we talk about the Trinity, every time someone ventures into preaching the Trinity, we tend to fall into heresy. No matter what we say, our words are creaky and inadequate, and they lead us into contradiction. And it's not enough simply to say, oh, it's mystery. We need to keep coming up with words, but those words are never good enough. But they're only insufficient when we're talking about theology, when we're talking about philosophy, but in reality, in reality, there is a magic in the Trinity. The Trinity that invites us to, to connect with a God that fills us with awe, a God that we cannot explain, connects us with Jesus who somehow is so much that presence of God that they are indeed of one substance, even if they are of two persons. And knowing that, we begin to understand what redemption really means. Not being pulled out of the muck, but by it being claimed. So we talked about that a little bit today, how God claims us and does so by being present with us. And then we talked about that very real experience we have when we know things are right or wrong, when we are thrilled or moved and that feeling we get in our bones that brings us forward. And so we recognize that the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit are hard to describe in words and the relationship is difficult to, to explain adequately. There's always a flaw, there's always a mistake. We always fall into a little partialism or modalism. We used all sorts of great heresy words. But we all know that feeling in our bones. And we all suspect the power of such redemption. And when we allow ourselves, we can be filled with awe. And so we all can experience the Trinity, even if we have difficulty describing it sometimes. That's what we played with today. Oh, and of course we sang holy, holy, holy. I mean, it's Trinity Sunday. So that's what you miss, but hopefully you won't miss the next one because we'd love to see you next time. Actually, the Reverend Dr. Larry Beach is going to preach. It will be the 55th anniversary of his ordination. So that's going to be special. But until we get to see you again, God bless and get back here soon.